assalamu alaikum friends today we are going to study about bubble sort bubble sort is one of the linear sorting algorithms with the help of which we can sort any unsorted array into a sorted one so for example to understand this concept we are considering this array in which we have got these 10 9 11 6 15 and 2 these are the entries into this array you can see that this array is not in a sorted form you have got a very uh, big number in the beginning and you have got a big number in the uh, middle and there is a small number which is lying on the end so this is not a sorted array so what if i want to sort it with the help of bubble sort so how does bubble sort proceeds so first of all we have to understand that an unsorted array needs to be sorted linearly by comparisons whenever we do comparisons that type of sorting is called linear sorting in bubble sort what we do is that if first element in our uh, array is we say that that element is bubble so we put a bubble on that on top of that if the bubble is larger than the next element then we do swapping and if the bubble is not larger it is smaller than the next element then we do not do swapping we just simply shift the bubble so this is what i am going to do throughout this uh, complete example and i will show you how this works okay so 10 and 9 i saw that 10 is uh, bigger then 9, 10 is larger than 9, so I have done the swapping here. You can see that 9 has been placed on the first position and 10 has been pl placed on the second position. Okay, in the next iteration, I compare 10 with 11. 10 is uh, smaller than 11, so I will not do swapping. I will simply pass the bubble to the next element. Alright, so in the next iteration, I see that... 11 and 6 so 11 and 6 11 is larger than 6 so i will swap their position so 6 has came here and 11 has gone over there along with its bubble okay in the next comparison i'm going to compare 11 and 15 so 11 is smaller than 15 so i will not do any swapping i will simply pass the bubble to the next position okay then i will compare 11 with 15 11 is smaller than 15 I have not shifted next I am going to compare 2 and 2 and 15 15 is uh, 15 is larger than 2 so I am going to shift 15 to the next position and swap 2 to its uh, to the 15's previous position so the whole concept is that whenever you find that your next element is uh, your bubble is larger than the next element then that bubble element shifts to that elements position and if your bubble element is uh, smaller than your next element then simply the bubble this circle passes forward and the elements are not uh, swapped okay so in this way our first pass is complete and you can see that the largest element uh, which was 15 so from here we can say that okay in the next uh, pass i am going to consider n minus 1 elements we will ignore 15 because 15 has already reached its right position so in the next pass these 1 2 3 4 5 elements are considered again i will repeat the same steps uh, i will compare 9 with 10 and i can uh, i can see that 9 is smaller than 10 so we have simply passed the bubble to the first element initially of course the bubble was over here over here and when i compared 9 with 10 and i found that 9 is smaller than 10 so this bubble was simply sh uh, shifted to the next position okay in the next swap now this 10 and 6 are compared 6 uh, 10 is larger than 6 so i have done swapping you can see that the positions of 10 and 6 have been swapped initially 6 was on this position now 6 has reached on this position and 10 has been shifted on the position of 6 so the swapping has been done okay now in the next case compare 10 with 11 10 is smaller than 11 so you can see that there is no swapping and simply i have passed this bubble from 10 to the next element 11 you can see that the bubble is traveling always in the diagonal this is always a check for you Alright, in the next I am going to compare 11 with 12. 11 is of course larger than uh, 2, sorry not 12, 2. 11 is larger than 2, so simply I am going to swap the positions. 2 has came here and 11 has came here. So in this way I can see that my second uh, pass is also complete. Uh, second pass is complete and the second largest element which is 11, it has also reached on the rightmost position. So now 
again i am going to consider n minus 2 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 so basically i had six elements now i am going to do n minus 2 so i am going to consider these four elements and i will ignore this 11 and 15 because they have already reached their right positions so when i consider this uh, array of n minus 2 elements i can see that uh, 9 is larger than 6 so my bubble uh, not only the bubble will pass but also the elements will swap so i am going to swap uh, the positions similarly in the next uh, uh, iteration i am going to compare 9 with 10 9 is smaller than 10 so simply the bubble will pass and in the next iteration 10 and 2 are uh, compared and 10 is larger than 2 so 10 will be swapped with the position of 2 I, this iteration is also complete because we can see that the third largest element has also reached its uh, rightmost position. So in this way you can see that my three passes have completed and if I run the fourth pass then I am not going to consider this 10. I am going to only consider this these three elements and in the first uh, in the first iteration 6 will remain on its position only the bubble will pass on 9 and in the next iteration this 9 will swap its position with 2 and it will reach its uh, rightmost position and then in the next pass I will simply swap these two elements and uh, it will not be required because 9 will reach here and 6 will reach here so in um, whatever I am saying let me write it down for you so 9, 6 and uh, 2 are going to be considered. So first of all the bubble is here and if I compare 6 with 9, of course 6 is smaller. So simply uh, the bubble will be shifted and not the elements. And in the next iteration, uh, of course 9 is large. So we have to do the swapping. We are not uh, just satisfied with this. So in this case, uh, you can see that the largest element has reach it rightmost position so we can say that okay this iteration or this pass has been completed in the next pass i'm just only going to consider these two elements and you can see that this element the first bubble is larger than the second element so this means that i'm going to swap the positions so after the completion of my this was uh, of course my third pass and this was my fourth pass so at the end of my fourth pass all of my elements 2 6 9 and uh, 10 11 uh, 15 from the previous passes all of this uh, array has been completed so the questions that you can be asked about this bubble sort that how many passes do you need to fully sort the array you will say that i need four passes to fully sort the array you can also be asked that how many iterations you had to perform so you can actually count down the number of iterations 1 2 3 4 5 uh, 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and uh, 13 14 uh, 15 16 yeah 16 iterations you did 16 iterations and four passes to completely sort this array and another thing that can be asked from you is the time complexity of bubble sort. Time complexity, you can see that when you did the first pass, for your first pass, we got first largest element on the rightmost position. Uh, so in the worst case, worst case is that in which you are given the most unsorted data. Most of the times, you might be given the very, very large elements on your left hand side and very, very small elements on your right hand side. So just consider that you have been given a worst case in which your largest elements are, are placed on the left hand side. You will be saying, oh my God, but I have to do, I have to shift all of them to the right. Okay, so this is my worst case. So just imagine that you have to take this nine to the rightmost position. So how many swaps you are going to do for five elements? You, will, you are going to do this and then this and then this and then this. So one, two, three, four swaps. So if you have got five elements, then for five elements, if you want to take this element here, you want uh, n minus uh, n 1. You need 5 minus 1, four swaps. Similarly, if uh, you have to shift the six forward, so again, you know, you have uh, how many elements? You have the same array. But this time you are not uh, tackling with the the 9 one because the 9 is already, you are satisfied with 9. You are already sorted out with 9. So for 6 you did this swap, this swap, this swap. So 
n minus 2 means that if you have an array of 5 elements then 5 minus 2 means 3 you have to do 1 2 3 3 swaps so in this way if you you do for 7 if you do for 5 you will be doing uh, first for first element for this 10 you will be doing n swaps 1 2 3 4 5 for 9 you did n minus 1 swaps for 6 you did n minus 2 swaps and so on till 1 so you can see that this is a geometric series you can combine it in uh, with the formula of the geometric uh, with the formula of geometric series that this is n multiplied with n minus 1 divided by 2 if you multiply this n inside then it becomes n square minus n so out of uh, this equation you can say that the time complexity in the worst case scenario is order of n square because you know you know this n square is a quadratic term and this n is a linear term so whenever you take time always uh, you always consider the small terms okay another means to look uh, another method or way to look at it is that uh, you can uh, write down this series of iterations that first of all you needed to uh, just do one swap for this element you want to only one swap and uh, of course for uh, uh, for this element you had to do n minus one swaps 